Hello there and welcome to Maths A Level Practice Paper A and here we're working on question 4. There's a logs question, log of base 11 of 2x minus 1 equals 1 minus log of base 11 of x plus 4. Find the value of x showing detailed reasoning. Okay, so what we're going to aim to do here is get all our logs on one side, take 11 to the power of both sides and then we'll sort things out from there. So start with log base 11 2x minus 1 uh, and then what we're going to do here first of all is we're going to add the um, log base 11 of x minus x plus 4 onto the other side like this so log base 11 of x plus 4 and that's going to equal 1. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to use the law of logs where if you log if you add two logs together then you can combine them together by multiplying <coughs> the values inside the logs just like this rule here. So it's going to be log base 11 of 2x minus 1 times x plus 4 uh, equals 1. So we've just simplified the left hand side here. <coughs> okay, what we're going to do now is get rid of the log base 11 here. Um, so the way that I think of logs is if I have a log base A of B equals C, then the way I can get rid of the log <coughs> is I can bring the power, bring the A, in this case it's going to be 11, and boost up that power of, a, of C there. So it's then going to be A to the power of C equals what we've got left inside the log there. So the 11 is going to come along, boost up the 11, and give us 11 to the power of 1, which is just 11. The actual operation we're doing on both sides here is 11 to the power of both sides. Right, okay, so now we've just got a quadratic here, so all that's left for us to do is just expand it. So I'll get uh, plus 8x minus x minus 4 equals 11. And simplify, take the 11 onto the other side. That would be plus 7x and minus 15. Um, so here we're going to get 2x and an x. And I'm just looking to see if I can factorise this. Hopefully I can. Um, I'll need a minus 3 here and a plus 5. So that will get me 10x, take away 3x is 7x, and 5 times minus 3 is minus 15. Great. So what I've got here now is x equals 3 over 2, or x equals minus 5. However, um, what we've got to remember is that we can never have log of a negative value. So we're just going to have to substitute these two values in, to, and we've got to check both of them um, to see if any of these solutions we can't have. And I've just spotted here, log base 11, if I put minus 5 in here, then I'm going to get a log uh, of minus 1, which I can't have. So this here is not allowed, no solution. Uh, and if I put 3 over 2 in here, yeah, that's going to be fine. 3 over 2 in here, yeah, that's going to be fine. So this one here is allowed. So my single solution is x equals 3 over 2. So please make sure that when you're doing log questions, that whenever you get an answer, you plug your answers back into your question and see if you ever get a log of a negative, because you can't get log of a negative. If you imagine the graph of logs, it looks like this. There's nothing on this left-hand side. You can't log a negative. Okay, six marks.